Hey guys, this is Brick, and what do you say? Is it time for a little bit of payback? I think it is. I definitely think it is. Let's do it. I'm gonna save the Sunlight Blade until he's charging up. And then I'll charge up as well. This isn't even my final form, Artorius. But now I have a Scythe. And it does a good amount of damage. Way more than the frickin' twice as much, at least. I don't remember the numbers exactly, but it's better. Come on. And that's without the Sunlight Blade on. Which will do a lot of damage. Hacha! Mmm. Do that all day. Ow. Alright, I put on the wolf ring, which is why I wasn't staggered there. Thank goodness. I this is your ring, isn't it, Artorius? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to steal this. Okay. You know, it's the time zone difference, otherwise I would have never stolen it from you. Ah, crap. Okay, thank you, Poise. Oh, I love Poise. The final build I have in mind doesn't have any, so I'm going to have to learn how to just be better at dodging. Oh, I snuck that hit in. Alright. Come on, big man. Ow, shoot. Okay. Let's dodge an attack. I I'd like to heal. Good opportunity, though. Here we go. Glug. <laughs> he rolls away. Beware of my scary healing, Artorius. Come on. Come on. What you got? We ain't got shit. A little more? A little more? You want me to tickle you some more with my big old scythe? Um, just so you guys know, this is pretty much how my ending character is going to look. And I'm okay with it. I mean, I think it looks pretty badass. I might have a different, uh, I'll have a secondary weapon when I'm done. Okay, my turn. I should probably actually, you know, use it, but instead I'm just going to hit all the wrong buttons, and now I'm going to die horribly, aren't I? Alright, let's just keep our distance. Be very careful. Every time I fight Artorius, I want to get on my Artorius character. He's so fun. His his sword, you get to do flips and stuff. I mean... Ow. Crap. You are a quick one. I don't like it. I wish there was a way to drink Estus faster. Okay. I shouldn't be alive. I should not be alive. I should not be alive. I need a really good opportunity to heal. Nope. Ah. Let's try that again. I know I can beat him. Alright, I'm going to try using Sunlight Blade beforehand this time. Because it didn't really work out in my panic. Let's get in there. See how much damage I can do. There we go. Okay, I need to not die before I get to my stuff. Missed me. Come on. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Wow. <sighs> ben needs to get better at dodging, ladies and gentlemen. He needs to uh, improve on that front. Blech. It's weird. I haven't even told you guys. I forgot to use the damn bonfire again. I haven't even told you guys about the first time I beat him. Um, I brought in a summon because I was just like, I was so tired of fighting him. I brought in a summon, which was a bad idea for multiple reasons. Because you should fight Artorius alone. It's just cool. I'm going to have to use some humanity. I need to kindle this stuff. Um, I brought in a summon and he died like immediately. So now I was dealing with a double health Artorius, or not double, but higher health Artorius. Sorry, keep standing. I managed to beat him. That was the time that I beat him. I like went in full concentration mode and slaughtered him. That's the problem here. Let's playing this game live is hard. 
But it's okay, because now we have 15 flasks. <laughs> I think that might do it. You never know, though. You never. You, I might need more. All right, I'll meet you there. All right, I'm going to try absolute silence, see if it works. So roar at me, I'll roar back. Oh, you bitch. Well countered. Damn it. I don't want to leave you again. I want to beat you now, and I'm going to. Bring it on. I'm kind of being hyper aggressive right now. It's kind of working. Not hyper aggressive, but very uh, hit and run. Just a little more range on this side. Come on. try and charge up again soon. I'm gonna be there. Kick his ass. One more hit. Come on. There we go. Mmm. Tasty. The blood of my enemies. Oh, delicious. I do respect you, Artorius, but goddamn, you've been giving me so much trouble. I'll just be happy when you're finally put to rest. That was too close for comfort. I was about to explode. He does explode at the end of that, in case I didn't mention. Aw, oh, man, I was doing so perfectly. I was hoping to keep my perfect record. All right. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's terrifying. That, that quick stab got me so many times. lot more range than it looks like it does. Being very cautious. No, no, I won't buy it. You almost made me attack you during that battle cry. Alright, Artorius. There's only one good way to finish you off. Hacha! Rest in peace, man. Hopefully you can now leave with your honor intact. After all the shit you've been through. I think fighting you is bad, but... What you had to fight, Artorius? Man, you got my respect. But, soon. I'll have to do the same, and I'll have to succeed. So, uh, pressure's on now. Finally, we are done with Artorius of the Abyss. Unfortunately, I will miss him. He was a bro when he wasn't evil. Before he was evil, you know. They got a lot of boss souls now. <laughs> They're just kind of sitting in my inventory. I could spend them all and just like... Wait, what am I doing? I could
could level up like crazy, but I don't know why I'm holding on to him. I just am. Maybe I'm collecting. Anyway, now that we're here, we go back, I believe. I might have to quit game and reload for this to work. Yeah, all right. Give me one sec. Now, when we come back, we'll see that there's someone here. You. Is that not the soul of the man who fell on this spot? He was a dear friend. I wish to pay proper respect with that soul. Would you be willing to part with it? Now, if you give her the soul, she gives you her weapons. But, you can make weapons or souls with this soul of Artorias, and if you kill her, you get the weapons anyway. However, because I'm respectful and I liked Artorias, and I like Searin right here, I will give it to her. Thank you. You are very kind. Please take this. I no longer need it. She has really cool weapons, by the way. The Dark Silver, tra the, the Dark Silver Tracer and the Gold Tracer are meant to be dual-wielded. May the Lord guide thee. Yeah, I know. May the Lord, May the Lord guide thee. That's all you got to say to me now? Alright, let's, let's take a look at these weapons, because they're pretty cool. And I don't think I've ever held them. I don't think I've ever really felt their movesets for myself. I was making... I was going to try and make a character based on uh, Searin, but... I never got around to it. Alright, where is it? Dark Silver Tracer goes in the right hand, and uh, the Gold Tracer goes in the left. Which is going to seem backwards, but that's how it's supposed to be. Now the left hand actually gets some really cool like combo looking things like this. Isn't that awesome? Your left hand actually gets some cool attacks. And then the right hand is all about the right, the heavy attack. This right here, because it inflicts toxic. So you got your crazy looking gold tracer and then you just poke them with that. Very cool. Very cool stuff. However, as much as I hate it, <laughs> I'm trying to be very uh, thorough for you guys, which means she has to die because I need her armor. And she's also a very interesting fighter. May the Lord guide thee. I don't think you you're gonna mean that in a moment. <laughs> you humans, always taking what you please. Then I shall do the same. Now she is really interesting to fight, I think. She's a lot smarter than almost every NPC in the game uh, in terms of fight style. She'll throw Lloyd's talismans at you so you can't heal properly. She'll try and inflict toxic. She'll throw freaking throwing knives. That's the Lloyd's talisman, by the way. Make sure you're not caught in that so you can heal. Come on, girl. Oh. Trying to put toxic on me, are ya? And she's done. Oh, maybe not. I don't like the scythe backstab. I think it's kind of silly that it pushes it through them like that. I wish it was something a little cooler. How? You humans. My dear. Artorias. It's not in the subtitles, but you can hear her say, My dear Artorias, at the end. I think she loved him, which is quite sad as well. Alright, so now we have the Lord's Blade armor. Very cool looking set. And if you come over here, this is the Battle of Stoicism. Um, I don't know how active it is on PC, but these are like set up PvP things. You can go in here. In fact, you know what? I'll, I'll try and find someone. I will lose horribly. Let's rest assured I will lose horribly. There are brackets. I think there's a 1 through 50. Uh, you get the purple coward's crystal when you come in. A 1 through 50, a 50 through 100, a 100 through 200, and a 200 up. Um, I see no red rings anywhere, which means there's probably going to be no one here. But you just stand in one of these and wait. Probably forever. <laughs> because no one's going to be doing above or below 100, so I'm just going to head back. Pretty much most of the fights you're going to find are at exactly soul level 100 these days. But don't take my word on that. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And over here you can find... Uh, you got some 
some legends here. Look at that, 21 streak, it's crazy good. I don't know if he hacks, he probably did, because pretty much everybody in this game hacks at this point, but, you know, whatever. Now if we head up here, there's not a lot we can do up here yet. We're going to need a key that we'll be getting later. But if you head up here, and then around this way, you can get some items. Soul of a hero. here and we will find nothing but a locked door which requires the crest key which we'll get later but you can hear someone it sounds like they're sharpening something up there probably in a, one of my favorite characters one of them another one of the few people that are nothing but kind to you there are very few of those <laughs> they are quite scarce so, I'm not really sure what to do now. Because before I do this area, I need a light source. So, against my will, I know where we're headed. We're going to warp back to Firelink. There are much better orders to do everything in than I'm doing. I'm just, you know, doing weird stuff. There you are. You have nothing to talk about but how you're going below. Take a seat. And give me just a moment. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to traverse the Duke's archives. I'm trying to do everyone's storyline. Meaning, I need to do Siegmeier and Solaire. I think that's all that there is. But Siegmeier has another element. If I wanted to continue his quest, I would go down to Blight Town which is where I could find him, and I would lend him some purple moss. He would give me his shield, or a uh, freaking, like, spare that he has, I guess. And we would be off. However, if I want to truly complete it, see it to what I think is the proper ending, even though it's certainly not the happiest, um, then I must come here first. Someone I must meet, and I figure while I'm here, I might as well do the whole damn thing. Now, what I should be doing is dumping all of my humanity to the Chaos Covenant, the Fair Lady down in Blighttown. And I could warp there and do that right now. I might do that at the next safe bonfire, but for now, I'm holding on to it because I am a freaking idiot. There's no other reason other than I like risk and making myself feel like I'm not safe at all. Damn, these guys hit like trucks. It's that damn sorcerer too. Ah, barnacles. All right, let's try it again, this time with a little less suck, huh? Now, I don't think there's a way for me to safely hit this guy without him hitting me, but we can try. I mean, he can't hit me from here. Let's see if I can't nail him. Right into the stairs. Perfect. Just what I wanted. We're going to have to push it right to the edge, huh? I am barely not getting tagged by those. Let's see if you can't nail him. Not even close. i got to aim to the right. This is an art, my friends. Ow. You bitch. A little higher. Gotta find that sweet spot. Maybe this will do. If it doesn't work this time, I'll give up. I apologize. I'm just kidding. I love, I love doing this technique, so I want to be able to actually... Oh! I feel like that hit him. But it didn't actually hit him. So I, I, I guess it didn't hit him. <laughs> that guy to the left is a problem. Also, the sorcerer is now buffing, which means we're going to have much stronger hits over here, so we gotta make sure we don't. Get See how much damage that did? Holy hell. Back off, bitch. I got a scythe. If I get hit, I'm gonna die. Okay. Now, I hate that sorcerer. He's, ki he's killing me over here. And if you get close and, and hit him, there's a good chance 
Oh, okay. See that on the bottom? That is a glitch that people have been getting, including myself. It's very bizarre. But don't pay it any in mind. It's not like Dark Sun Gwendolyn has appeared again to murder you. Don't worry about it. Now let's kill this guy. There we go. That was much more effective than trying to hit him from way far away. The Six-Eyed Sorcerers of the Seath. They are creepy once you really get to know what they're all about. I'm pretty sure their job... God, I hate that health bar at the bottom. Hello, how's it going? Don't mind me. I'm just what chopping. And stabbing you through the back with the blunt end of a scythe. You know, makes sense. <sighs> I hate that glitch on the bottom. The sorcerers. They seem to do two things. They probably read books to Seath, who, if you can't remember, is the dragon that betrayed the other dragons. The one without scales, Seath the Scaleless, as he is known. Ow, bitch. And he is also, or the sorcerers also seem to abduct young maidens for experiments. Now, what happened to all those young maidens? Um, we will, we'll see. It's not pretty, that's for damn sure. Good job, Ben. Just, you, you hit that wall. All right. Now, we're going to clear this, this little floor out before we head up to the main attraction of this area. Make sure it's not a mimic. That I don't I don't trust that that actually hit it. Okay. Pop this open. Some twinkling titanite. Good stuff because the painting guardian armor actually requires twinkling titanite to be upgraded. So I'm gonna need plenty of that. Head over here. And down here. Good. You know, it seems like the the heavy attack on the scythe does a lot more comparing to the to the right the right-handed attack. Now, where am I getting shot from? Some dude up above that I can't hit. Hey, what are you looking at? Back off. You too. I'll use my last lightning on you. That's how important it is that you die. Now, if we run over here. Chain is pointed towards us, only could mean one thing. Come on. Hush up! Mm. Feels good every time. We got. Oh, we got the symbol of Avarice! Yeah! <laughs> Best item ever. And we also got a crystal night shield, which is just the regular night shield with the crystal upgrade. Wow, I know. Really blew your mind with that nugget of knowledge. The uh, symbol of Avarice is actually the giant treasure chest, and you can wear it on your head. And it looks absolutely absurd. Um, I know it increases your item discovery a lot, but I think it also might cut how many souls you get in half or something like that. It's something like that. Now, you know what? I'm not going to need this, so I'm going to go ahead and use it now. If we go up here, we're going to meet a very unique little individual that doesn't really have any explanation. This is the Crystalline Knight, who has some pretty sick armor. Pretty sick weaponry. Doesn't he look sick? And he's dead. <laughs> really doesn't take a lot. But he's gone, and I going to put on the Ring of Sacrifice. Now, if you played this on your first time, you did not put on a Ring of Sacrifice, and you died horribly. No! No leaving! I need your twinkling titanite! Titanite! Alright, thank you, little crystal lizard. Now, if we get up here, it's really starting to get a little crowded with crystals. I got my, my Ring of Sacrifice on. Let's get in here. Meet Seat the Scaleless. He's gonna breathe some scary shit. 
That will actually curse you along with doing damage. By the way, how the hell are you supposed to hit this guy? Well, you can try arrows. Does zero. Oh, look, 23 damage. Oh, his health bars. His health bar went down and it immediately went back up. Uh, well, this might be a problem. Oh, God. Oh, God, what's he doing? Oh, dear. I don't think I can dodge this one. Oh, I'm launched in the air. Twice. Oh, oh, good. He's doing it again because the first one wasn't immediately going to kill me. Well, good thing I put that Ring of Sacrifice on, because he appears to be immortal. And in fact, he is. I could have sworn I saved it at a different bonfire. What? What is there? Why is there a snake person outside? Why are you sleeping? Where am I? Ah! 